Hello everybody, I'm Karen Jane Casey and this is Moments with Karen and I bring it to you every Wednesday morning at 7. You might wonder what this podcast is about and who is it for? Well, I share um, past and present moments, stories, helpful information that I accumulate from ver a variety of sources and with always with the purpose to entertain, educate, and to encourage us. And I always put, to the, put these together with the idea that we all want to gain insights along our own journey so that we can increase the joy, the happiness that we have in life. The message in these episodes is for each and every one of us. And it doesn't matter how good our life may seem right now or how deep and dark our troubles may be. And we may be a devout believer in the Lord or we may be someone who questions everything. During this 15 minute episode, I want to assure you that I will not be lecturing down at you. I will not be yelling and preaching at you. I'm simply sharing what I've learned and what I'm still learning along my journey. We learn together and I encourage you to share what you've learned. Your personal testimony is important and it's going to resonate with someone. Someone needs to hear it. Well, today's episode title is Encouraged to Overcome. And as you may know, at least once a month, I strive to talk about one of the books that I've written or about someone else's book or story that has been inspirational and may influence you in a positive way. And because I'm a domestic violence survivor, overcomer, and advocate, sometimes my interest of, in reading material tends to be towards stories that are encouraging, healing, and about overcoming challenges in life. Well, sometime about three years ago, I was approached by a representative of Goals Initiative Incorporated. She was, she's a friend of mine, and I knew that uh, I knew her because we both traveled in the same areas. We were interested in various domestic violence awareness efforts. Well, she asked me if I'd like to have my personal testimony to be a part of a compilation that she was putting together. Each story would be addressing overcome, the overcoming process in some way for the purpose of encouraging other people not necessarily covering domestic violence situations, but, my, but any testimony would demonstrate how they courageously faced various challenges in life, the sources or means of survival, as well as the victory that was produced in that person's life as a result of their journey with these challenges, trials, situations. It was my understanding that the purpose was this, that all proceeds for the sales of this book would provide academic scholarships for chosen applicants who were coming from domestic violence and for other related programs. So the entire book was dedicated in memory of my friend's sister who had been killed in an act of domestic violence. It is tragic to know how many people are actually killed in, in a domestic violence situation, especially women. Well, this book that was published was published in 2018 by Goals Initiative Incorporated, and its title is Triumph Over Adversity, a compilation of inspirational real life stories. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I've read the final product and it is indeed inspirational. And I must say, although each story is different, as each person's challenges were unique, I couldn't help but notice that it, with each person who survived a very hard trial in their life, they came out with gratitude towards those who had helped them and especially with gratitude towards our Heavenly Father. And that's what makes the difference in 
sharing a mere story or a personal testimony. When we come out of our own period of trials and tribulations and proclaim and confess to others that it was the Lord that brought us through, it was because of the Lord that we survived and we overcame. It was not because of what we did or what someone else did or didn't do. It was because of the Lord. We point them to Him, to all of it, to His glory. That's what makes the difference between a story and a personal testimony. My portion in this book is only a few pages, found in chapter 6, titled, My Dear Rosa Jean, by Karen Jane Casey. This is really like a snippet of my personal testimony, and it relates to my first novel with the same title, My Dear Rosa Jean. And that novel was my way of sharing my testimony in a fictional backdrop. Well, a lot of people don't realize, but I wrote My Dear Rosa Jean while I was still in the recovery process. And I share scriptures that helped me along the way. My first novel, My Dear Rosa Jean, was actually my first action as a domestic violence advocate. And I wrote how slowly and craftily an abusive person can entangle themselves into our lives. We're like sheep. We don't know that it's coming. And it shares the various methods that an abuser uses to inflict harm onto their victims. So this is truly an awareness and the way towards survival, which is through the turning, turning to the Lord for help in our times of trouble. Overcoming such obstacles in life has some elements to it. To overcome, we must realize that our enemy, the adversary, the devil, is a liar. When we forgive those who have harmed us, we forgive those who could have helped but chose not to. When we let it go, when we forget the past and we move on, then we can overcome. And always with gratitude towards our Heavenly Father for our rescue and for our hope for a good future. It's only then that we can truly overcome. Also in my novel, I addressed how individuals and society as a whole can make a positive difference. Well, getting back to uh, chapter 6, my part in the book about triumph over adversity, I shared my favorite scripture. And that favorite scripture is also shared in my podcast every Monday, Turn to God with Karen. And this is it. Psalm 34, 18, which is, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. He is with us. We are not alone. We merely need to turn to the Lord, and He will be our rescue and help in times of trouble. Because of my portion in the book is less than two pages, I think I can read it to you now. And um, it's, it's in the book that I showed you, page 63, and this is uh, the face of it, chapter 6, my dear, by my, it's My Dear Rosa Jean by Karen Jane Casey, shares my scripture that I just shared with you, Psalm 34, 18, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. At an early age, my five, my five younger siblings and I experienced and witnessed various traumatic situations and ongoing episodes of abuse within our dysfunctional family. My first childhood memory was of my mother screaming hysterically while she beat me in the head with her fist. My little sister watched in horror as my father sat in the other room and did absolutely nothing. This was a reoccurring event throughout my childhood. Eventually, I went on to marry my high school sweetheart, and we had two adorable children. After 10 years in an emotional, sometimes volatile relationship, 
our marriage ended. While depressed over yet another failed relationship, I met an attractive, charismatic man. He had qualities like my mother. He could be intensely affectionate and loving one minute. And then suddenly, without any known cause, he became cruel and abusive. I was helplessly drawn to him, even after he tried to kill me. I forgave him, only to suffer through various tortures for another year. I desperately prayed to the God to give me strength, to deliver me from this hell. And ultimately, God did provide a way for my escape. It was only through the grace of God that I survived that toxic and life-threatening situation. My recovery has taken years. It's an ongoing process. I am grateful for each moment that I have without the fear of domestic violence. It's my desire to assist individuals in the healing process by helping them to recognize the signs of abusive behavior, domestic violence, and trauma. It is important to be aware of how traumatic interactions with an abuser can drastically impact the lives of others. As those affected, I also relive it through every facet of their life. I want family members, friends, and bystanders to understand ways that they can assist. So this was my way of pleading to others to care, to do something, to cause a difference. I, I do remember that one of the things that bothered me the most through my situation with domestic violence was the fact that there were bystanders all along the way. They were indifferent. They did nothing when they could have helped. And I don't want that to happen for others. Well, I recommend your purchase of this book. Again, I'll show you the front of it. Triumph Over Adver Adversity. And you will be educated and encouraged as you face your own challenges in life. But also your purchase will help others. You simply go to www.goalsinitiative.com and that's G-O-A-L-S-I-N-I-T-I-A-T-I-V-E.com. And I believe the price is only $12.99. So I hope that you enjoyed today's episode on Moments with Karen. This is Karen Jane Casey, author, speaker, domestic violence advocate, and ambassador for Christ. Moments with Karen is available every Wednesday morning at 7, where we explore past and present moments to find lessons, encouragement, and increase our joy in life. I have two faith-based podcasts also available all of them are available on stormtalk365radio.com. And they, these other two podcasts are Turn to God with Karen, Monday mornings at 6.30, where we address challenges in life, overcoming challenges in life, and Abundant Living with Karen, which is on Tuesday mornings at 7, where we explore the different facets of an abundant life. The platform for these podcasts is Spreaker.com. You can simply Google the podcast by name, and then you will see the listing of episodes and just click on them. We're available on iTunes, Twitter, and Alexa on Amazon, hosted by iHeartRadio and Spotify, and the sites are growing daily. You can also go to Karen Jane Casey on YouTube to watch a video of these podcasts. So if you go there, please subscribe to my channel and then you will see the videos more easily. So my website is KarenJaneCasey.com. That's C-A-R-I-N-J-A-Y-N-E-C-A-S-E-Y. I would sincerely love any suggestions or feedback that you might have. It's on my website that you will find out um, information, resources about overcoming domestic violence. Also, you will find out about the books that I've written. My Dear Rosa Jean, which we spoke about in today's episode. My Dear Rosa Jean is my first novel 
which is suspenseful, it's dramatic, it's entertaining, but at the same time, it gives you very good principles and information about overcoming and healing, things to watch out for in a domestic violence situation. Mystery at Kansas Bay is a real page turner. It's also entertaining and it also is encouraging. Granny babysits the mischievous five. This is a fun children's chapter book. I enjoyed writing it. It's good for children and for adults. And in the, in the, its underlying purpose is to encourage patience when children do things that children do. You can find my books available on Amazon.com, Kindle, and Barnes & Noble Nook. Thank you and have a blessed day.